At the restaurant, we cook a lot of our meats in a sealed bag in a water bath. And that way you get this sort of unbelievably accurate, constant temperature, which gives you the most tender, juiciest, and full flavor results. The Romans forced slaves to hold their pigs in steam to cook. But I'm not that crazy. So I'm trying out another radical cooking method to make my hog taste wonderful. So Tony, the idea with this is that by cooking something in a bag, sealed, backpack. Yep. You keep all the moisture and the juices in, but we've got nothing big enough to cook a whole pig in. Okay. Um, and apparently you have. I have. I've got, um, I've got some beautiful big pots that you could cook a pig in, Heston. Don't try this at home unless you've got a forklift truck, a vacuum-packed pig and plenty of hot water. <laughs> Whoops. Made a bit of a pig's ear of that, didn't I? <laughs> Might be a bit bruised. Might need a bit of ointment. <laughs> With my pig recaptured, I have to choose which cooking pot I want to use. And there's a great variety on offer. OK, Tony, what have you got? What, what's my options? Well, this is your first option, Heston. This is an all singing, all dancing. I think that might be a bit turbulent for my pig. OK, and this is the Alberta Spa, and this is when we're doing all the funky colours, as you can see. It's very uh, bling, this one, isn't it? It is indeed, yeah. My, uh, my pig's not quite as bling as that. This is our Victoria Spa. Now, I'm, that's okay. a better name. Victoria. That's, that's, that's more like it. All chrome jets, waterfalls, lights. You know, everybody wants this one. The boys here have turned the hot tub into a giant water bath, raising its temperature to a constant 60 degrees. It will cook the pig slowly if left in for 24 hours. Do you think he's going to like it in there, then? I think, yeah. I think he might have created the world's first spa for pigs. Are you ready? This is the first time ever a hog has been cooked in a hot tub, all in the cause of scientific research. I do like to think I'm a relatively normal bloke, by the way. See if we can just <laughs> pretend we're not standing here. And I'm very inquisitive. I'm never content with what I do, and I always want to strive to get better and better. And that learning process is absolutely fascinating. It's one of the things that drives me, drives me forward. If there wasn't a serious reason for doing this, then I wouldn't be doing it.